right, everyone calm down, take a seat. Everyone here has done an exceptional and an incredible job so far. And I am extremely proud of every single one of you. Except for one. Oh, someone's in trouble. Carl. Yes? Do you want to be here, son? Yes, sir, Mr. Seahorse. Don't call me that. Don't call you what, Mr. Seahorse? Mr. Seahorse. No, I'm Carl. Don't call me Mr. Seahorse. Oh, sorry, Mr. Sergeant Seahorse. Now listen here, Carl. You have one last day to prove to me that you belong here. Now can you prove it? That you have what it takes to be an SEA agent and be a part of Mission Deep Blue. Absolutely, Seahorse man. Good. Watch out for that jellyfish. <laughs> what jellyfish? How are you feeling, Carl? I mean, not bad. I just don't know if I'm made out for this. Seahorse told me that today is my last day that I can prove to be a CEA agent. And how can I prove it to him in just one day? Carl, I think you just do your best and leave it at that. Just do my best? Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? It's either do your best or give up. And Carl, you're not the type of guy to give up. <sighs> Thanks. No problem. Let's go. Okay. I'm okay. again everyone i hope you have been having as much fun as i have been having the last two days these at-home competitions have been fun the zoom calls were so great this afternoon it was so great to see some of you and the best is yet to come can't wait for our scavenger hunt tomorrow except for the part where you're all gonna like dump gross things on my head i could i could do without that part you know but i hope you guys will enjoy that part all right Wally and brandon you have been around a CEA agent. You know what it means. Now comes the last part. You have gifts. You need to learn to use them. Whoa! Gifts? Does that mean it is your birthday, Dr. Fatala? What is that, Gerald? Oh, yes, we are. We still have our candy corn poop emoji pillow. You can have it as a gift if you really want it. Oh, I, I love a good birthday. I don't want to start to make a very special birthday cake for our beloved Dr. Edmund Lepidi. Yeah, the birthday cake for you. It's coming up with the Bacada liver oil. Oh, it's going to be a good one. No, it isn't my birthday. Well, then whose birthday is it? Remember that one time that we celebrated the birthday of Queen Nagarpatandala in the hills of catastrophe? No, Wally, it isn't anyone's birthday. I think what Dr. Anemone means is that we all have things that we're good at. We all have things we're passionate about or that we care about. And those are things, those are gifts that God has given us. Things that we're good at and we care a lot about, we're passionate about. Those are gifts that God has given each and every one of us. Yes, what Brandon said. Thank you. Yeah, it was really cool to see you kids at home use your gifts for the at-home competitions, right? We saw some really cool forts. Some of your baking was so good. And that pet fashion show. So cool to see you guys use your gifts. Yes, we all have different gifts. Wally, what do you think some of your gifts are? Well, have you ever seen me wrestle with a jaguar? Especially that jaguar named Jif. He likes to steal my meatloaf. No. Well... Have you ever seen me play chess with the penguins? No, Wally, that's not 
Well, I guess that was that one time where I got to hug a wet koala bear. How is that going to help you be a CEA agent? Well, if there are any sad koala bears, I'm your guy. Noted. Okay, well, Wally, what kind of things do you like? I need to know more about you. You know, I have an idea. Uh, why don't we play a game? Let's to get us ready for our scavenger hunt tomorrow. Let's play a little at-home scavenger hunt game, okay? I am going to tell you something, and you have 20 seconds to run around your house, find it, and come back. All right, ready? As soon as I say it, 20 second timer will go on the screen, run around your house, find it, and come back. Ready? Uh, the first one, something you use to play a sport. Anything you use to play a sport. Timer, go. All right, number two, a musical instrument. Anything you use to make music. 20 seconds and go. Right. Number three is going to be a little bit harder. Okay, are you ready? A scooter, a bike, or roller skates. Really anything with wheels. Ready? Go. Something that reminds you of a good friend. Something that reminds you of a good friend. Ready? Go! A Bible verse. Ready? Go! All right, here's one that some of you used earlier today. Something that you use to bake with. Anything you use to bake with. Go. One of Wally's favorites. Ready? Go find candy. Candy. Go. All right, ready for this one? Something blue. Anything that is the color blue. Awesome. Now it is time for some music worship where we sing songs about how much we love Jesus and how much he loves us. It's a reminder about how much Jesus loves us. We're going to stand up, do some motions and sing. Hands up, I'm letting go I want more of you, so let's go 
only There was nobody else No other name could save You've stolen our hearts And given us everything But we want to lift you higher Jesus, you are so glad that you decided to join us this weekend. It has been a fun weekend, a silly weekend, and we are so grateful to share it with you. I do want to share a story with you from the Bible. It's a great story and I think a story that you guys are going to love. So Jesus was traveling and he was sharing stories and talking about God and people loved following Jesus. They went wherever he went. They kept following him and he would talk and share stories and teach and preach and people, masses of crowds would just follow him wherever he went. There was one day where Jesus is actually talking on a hill and there's 
probably 5,000 plus people. So like a ton of people listening to Jesus tell stories about God and about love and about peace. And all these people just sat and listened. And Jesus must have been on a really good roll that day because he kept talking like all day long. And eventually you could hear it. The grumblies, the rumblies, the growling of bellies. Like, you know when we get hungry and our belly growls? I feel like mine always growls when, like, the room is silent and then my belly will growl out loud. I bet you know what I mean. So all these bellies of all these people started to rumble and grumble and people were hungry. And the disciples are like, Jesus, people are hungry. We need to send people away. Like, it's time for dinner. Like, hello, they need to eat. Jesus like, feed them. Like, no, like, they're hungry. Like, we don't have food. Jesus like, feed them. So they went into the crowd and they're looking for food. How are we going to feed all of these people? How are we going to feed them? And they came back and this little boy offered him his lunch. We know it was about fish and bread. That was it. And his mommy probably packed it for him so it was just enough for him to eat. But you know what? It's all he had, but he still chose to give it to Jesus. He gave Jesus all that he had and he said, Jesus, take this. I offer it up to you. Do as you need. Do as you wish with it. You know what Jesus did? He took that little boy's gift, his lunch. He took all that little boy was offering to him, and he prayed over it. And you know what? The food multiplied. Not only did it multiply, like it really multiplied. Like there was enough food to feed everyone there. And not only there was enough food to feed all of their bellies full, they actually had enough food for leftovers. So like everyone got to take home a doggy bag. Like, how great is that? And you know why? Why their bellies were full, why they had so much food left over was because one little boy offered all he had to Jesus. So see, when we use the gifts God gave us, when we use what we are, we have, sometimes it's, some of us are really good listeners. Some of us have great voices. Some of us are good at praying. Some of us are great at talking to people. Some of us are good leaders. Some of us stand up for what is right really easily. And when we offer what we have to Jesus, he takes those gifts and he uses them. And so our faith grows when we see God use our gifts, when we give our gifts to God and we offer them up to him and God will use them because he is faithful. All we have to do is offer what we have. And what we have is different because we're unique, but we all have God-given gifts in us. And God is just asking us to offer what we have to him. And you know what, boys and girls? He will always be faithful with our gifts. And our faith will grow when we use the gifts God has given us. All right, boys and girls, remember that you have a gift, that God has given you a gift. You are special and unique, and you have a gift that God put in you. And you have a purpose. And all we have to do is offer up our gift to him and he will use you. Thanks for checking us out, boys and girls. Thanks for stopping in for story time, and it is so great to hang out with you. We will see you soon. Well, yes, we, we do all have a special gifts. Frank, do you think that our gifts can help us grow? Because I am starting to believe that using my gifts will help me to grow. Hey, that sounds just like our big idea tonight. My faith grows deeper when I use my gifts. Yeah, my faith grows deeper when I use my gifts. God has given every single one of us gifts, things we're good at, things we care about a lot, things we're passionate about. And I grow closer to God when I use the gifts that God has given me. And it's so cool. Plus, we get to use our gifts, which is so fun. Okay. Before we're done, I got one more activity that we're going to do, okay? It's a little game I call I Draw, You Draw. Hope you guys got your paper, got your marker, pen, crayon, whatever you're drawing with, okay? First thing we are going to draw is pizza, okay? I'm going to draw some pizza. Okay, there's my pizza. I'm going to add some toppings on it here. What's your favorite pizza topping? Mine, of course, is bacon, right? Okay, here is my pizza. Let's see your pizza at home. 
I can't see it. All right, so here's the next part of this game. Ready? I'm going to give you 20 seconds again. This is going to be hard to do in 20 seconds. As a family, whoever is with you, do this together. I want you to come up with three different uses for pizza. I don't know how else you're going to use pizza. Get creative. 20 second time. We're going on the screen in three, two, one, go. Okay, I draw, you draw, part two. I hope you guys came up with some really awesome ways to use pizza, like making friends or feeding neighbors. I don't know, throwing at your sister. Don't do that one. Okay, here we go. Our next one is a coffee mug, all right? I'm going to draw one. You draw one at home. Ready? Go. Coffee mug. All right, here's my coffee mug. See, it's coffee, so it's got, like, you know, the steam coming up like that. Okay, yeah, I'm bad. Okay. All right, uh, I hope you guys, I'm sure they look way better than mine. Same thing. I'm going to give you 20 seconds, come up with three different uses for a coffee mug. Ready? Go! All right, last round of I draw, you draw. This time we are going to draw a book, okay? Draw a book. You got room on your paper still? Go get a new piece if you need one. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Book, all right. Here's mine. Book. I'm so bad I have to label it. Like that's what it is. It says it says book. All right. Hopefully you guys are better and you guys are smart. You know what's coming next, right? 20 seconds, three to five different uses for a book. Ready? Go! I hope you guys had some fun with that. Um, just like all of our pictures look different, all of our gifts look different too. Because God has created each and every one of us different with special gifts. And that's awesome. We should celebrate each other's differences. And just like there's different uses we all came up with for all of those things, God can use your gifts in a lot of different ways. The important part is the more we grow close to God, the more we will know what, how God wants to use our gifts because God can use our gifts in extraordinary ways. And that reminds me and comes back to our big idea today. This is this evening. I grow deeper when I use my gifts. All right, guys, parents, don't forget if you have not sent us pictures of your at-home challenges yet, make sure to send those to us. Email them to kidcrossing at ilovemychurch.org. If you can't figure that out, you can just get them, get a hold of me or Joyce somehow and get them to us. Don't forget to practice your memory verse tonight. It should be on your card, or if you can't find your card, go on to our social media. It will be there at Parents of Crossroads because we will see you tomorrow for the scavenger hunt between 2 and 3 p.m. tomorrow. And remember, if you know that memory verse, you get to dump extra stuff on my head. So maybe don't. No, you should definitely learn the memory verse. All right, I can't wait to see some of you. We're going to do all the social distancing guidelines when we're there. But we cannot wait to see you, even if it means you're just going to dump gross things on my head, guys. We will see you tomorrow.
Carl, did you hear? I made it. I got selected to be an SEA agent. Wow, that's awesome. Have you heard back yet? <sighs> no, I think I'm done here. Oh, Carl. No, it's okay. I gave him my all. You know, sometimes things don't work out. All right, Carl. Well, you did a great job. I'm really proud of you. <sighs> Thanks. What are you doing? My dream is to be a CEA agent. And I'm not leaving this box until you tell me I can. CEA? It's S-E-A. It's on your sweater, man. Oh, yeah. Ah. I just figured kids like the sea and like the ocean. That's ridiculous. Are you crazy? Yeah, maybe. But you need to know that I'll do whatever it takes to be part of Mission Deep Blue. You're standing in a box of killer jellyfish. They're going to kill you. Wait, you think some kill you? Of course. Ah. Carl, you are insane, but that took courage. And courageous people are who we need on our team. So congratulations, you're now an SEA agent. Are you serious? This is great. Can I give you a hug? Absolutely not. No, 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 please don't. Thank you, Mr. Seahorse. You're welcome, now stop hugging me. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, now go out there, we got a lot of people to help. Yes, sir. I sure am excited to be a CEA agent. SEA. Right. Jellyfish. 